Hello guys and welcome to this series of shell scripting. In this video we are going to create a shell script to take the backup of user's file. So let's begin. First of all the goal of our shell script is to minimize the effort while taking the backup of user's file. Now there are basically three operations that we need to take care of. The first one is to identify that whether the given user is a valid user or not. The second one is to find its home directory and the third one is to actually take the backup and compress it. Now we will also compress it to decrease the size of the files, right? For this video, I had already created multiple users in the system. For those, I am going to take the backup, okay? So let me grab user and here you will see I am going to take the backup for user 2, user 5, user 1, user 6 and user 4. Notice that the home directory of different user is different. For example, for user 2 is it inside the slash home and inside the user 2 which is common while creating the user. But if you see for the user 6 you will see it is present inside the home directory but the name is different that is xyz directory. Similarly for user 4 the home directory is present inside the slash 10 and user 4. Okay, just for the explanation, I have created a user with the home directory present in some other location other than slash home directory. So the point here is that the home directory may or may not have a common pattern. Okay, normally home directory is present in the inside the slash home with the username. But here we will see that inside the home with a different name and completely in a different directory also. Right, so we also need to find the path dynamically. Okay, so first of all, we are going to create the array of users, right? So for that, first of all, I will declare the indexed array and I will give the name as user underscore names. Okay, after that, I will initialize the values as user names and give here values as user1 space user2. Okay, this will go till up user number. 6. So 6 users are present in the usernames variable. Now if I want to loop through them, so I will write here for i in then quotes dollar. After that I will write the name of the array that is user underscore name and provide here at the rate. Okay. Then do and after that done. Right. And for now I will write here echo backup dollar i. Okay. Instead of dollar i, I should use here user that will make more sense right so i'll write here user okay now first operation that we need to find is that whether the user is valid or not so for that we can use here id command right so if i use here id then the name of the user let's say user1 you will see the exit status code written by the id command will be zero okay but if i try it with some user that doesn't exist in that case the exit status code will be not zero right so the same concept i'm going to use here that is id and then the name of the user so the name of the user will be dollar user right and after that i'll send the output to the null okay so that while running the script it is not shown next we need to check the exit status code so i'll store the exit code to a variable that is ec with the value as dollar question mark okay so dollar question mark will tell me the exit status code for the id and the current user which is iterating right so now i'll compare it if then ec that is double quotes then dollar ec is equals to zero in that case the user exists okay so i'll write here echo user then dollar user exists in the system right and in the else block i'll write that echo user dollar user does not exist in the system so let's save it and execute our shell script right and see what is the output it is giving now it is giving me error because i also need to complete the if block okay with the fee right so now let's again save it and execute our shell script then you will see backup of user 1 backup of user 2 backup of user 3 basically iterating over the all the values present inside the array right in this particular array it is iterating right so first it is checking for the user 1 so user 1 exists user 2 exists but user 3 doesn't exist right even in the file if you will see in the etc password file and I'll do here grab of user 3 
then you will see this particular user doesn't exist in the system okay user 1 exists user 2 exists user 4 exists 5 exists 6 exists but user number 3 does not exist right so the same output has been shown here that the user 3 does not exist in the system now user 4 exists also user 5 and user 6 also exists now after finding that whether the user is valid or not we need to find its home directory okay so in this case we will be using the awk command but before using awk you need to focus on what information need to be grabbed okay so in the etc password file the home directory for user exists okay and if you see here this is our first field then second third fourth fifth and in the sixth field right so in the sixth field we have the path for the home directory also notice that the field are separated by the colon not by the space so i'll write here awk and after that i'll write here that is print dollar one and dollar six right and the field separator to be used here will be our colon right and i'll provide the name of the file that is etc and password so in this case it will give me the name of the user and the path of its home directory now there is one more thing that we need to add here that we only need to find the equivalent home directory based on the name of the user so for that we can write here dollar one okay which is telling about the field number one right it should be equal to the let's say user one right so this will give me the home directory for the user one right so it is giving here similarly if i want to find for the user number five i can write here let's say user five okay similarly for user six we can write here user six and if you only want to print the home directory then no need to print here dollar one i'll only write here dollar six so it is only giving us home directory of this particular user right whatever we had defined here so we will use the same concept in our if block after validating that the user is valid so i'll write here user and then underscore home okay and i'm going to run the awk command so i'll write here awk dash f and after that i'll give here colon and then i'll write here dollar one equal equals to and then the current user okay so this will be our user right so even if i use here double quotes then you will see at this moment it is not going to work okay i'll come back to it soon so i'll write here after that print then dollar six okay and i'll provide the file path here that is slash etc and password okay and i'll write here the home directory path for user is user underscore home right so let's save our file and we will try to execute this file right so i'll write here dots forward slash and user back then you will see the path for the home directory for user user 5 is nothing okay so it is not giving us any output similarly in the fourth also it is not giving us any particular output now even though if i write here only dollar without uh, quotes okay so only the variable name in this case also it is not going to give me any particular output and it will also give us error right now it's important to know that while using the awk command if you want to use the variable then you will have to explicitly define it now what i mean is to use the variable inside the awk you need to explicitly define it so to define it we use the option as dash v okay and after that we write here the name of the variable that i am going to use inside the awk so i am simply going to write here user and then give the value right so i'll give the value as the dollar and then the user this particular dollar user will get replaced with the user 1 user 2 user 3 like that which is in the loop right and now if i want to use this then i'll write here dollar 1 equals to user okay so let me save it and i'll again execute our shell script now in this case you will see it is giving us the home directory of that particular user which is exactly what we wanted right now the third part is to take the backup of the user files present in its respective home directory okay this part is a little tricky one so we will go step by step okay so let me clear this screen so for taking the backup we mainly use the tar command which can be used to archive the file and at the same time can be used to compress the file right so what i'll write here 
tar and after that we give the option here as c which is to create the tar file after that the z option which means to also compress it and finally f option okay f option is to specify the path whose backup we wanted to take right so we will write here the name of the backup for now let's say user1 dot tar dot gz okay which is a gzip compression right and after that i'll take the file path to be taken will be slash home and user1 right so if i press enter you will see the first thing it is saying that removing leading forward slash from members names okay now this issue occurs when we use the absolute path okay whose archive we need to take so if you want to take the archive of the absolute path defined in that case you need to provide here option as capital p okay in that case you will see this issue will not be shown after that it is saying permission is denied so obviously i have to run this with the pseudo privileges right so i'll write the password and now if i do the ls then you will see a backup file that is user1.tar.gz has been created for all the files present in the home directory of the user1 right so this looks good but still it has some problems now to identify the problem first of all we are going to unzip it so i'll write here tar then x z f and then the name of our tar file right so i'll write here user1.tar.gz so if i press enter i should have used here dash p option but it's not compulsory to use here right so if i see that we have the home directory of the user1 okay here it has been created so if i see the files inside of it then these files belongs to the user one now one thing to notice here is that i want to create the backup of the user one inside the documents directory but it is actually getting created in, inside the document and inside the home directory right so it is inside the home directory at this moment okay so what happens when we use the tar command it creates a backup as defined as in the path okay so suppose if there path has been defined like slash dir1 then dir2 slash dir3 okay so the archive will be created in such a way that there will be dir1 and inside there will be dir2 and inside that there will be dir3 but actually i wanted that only dir3 should be present inside the documents okay so inside the documents i don't need this home directory i directly need this user1 directory now to achieve it we use the capital c option and after that we define the path for the directory right so the path for the directory is slash home and at the end we only define the base name okay so user1 will be our base name so let me clear it and now if i press enter do here ls so the previously owned user1.tar.gz has been overwritten by our new tar okay so what i will do i am going to extract it xzf and then the name of our tar okay so if i press enter do here ls and then if you will see here the extraction has been done with only the name that is user1 the backup is taken inside the document without creating any additional directory that we saw in the previous case that the home directory was being created or we can say the parent directories were created right now there is still one problem when i will use it in the shell script that how i can find this directory path and the base name or the final name so for that we have two commands that is the dir name and the base name okay so suppose the path is dir1 slash dir2 slash dir3 okay so in this particular location after the capital c i need this path to be defined right so for that we can write the command here dir name and then you will see it gives me output as dir1 slash dir2 okay now for the end name that is user1 you can define the command here as base name okay which will give me the final directory name or the file name so let's come back to the script here and we'll write here dir equals to dollar parenthesis to run the command and after that i'll give the command here as dir name and provide here user home okay which is having the value of home directory of that particular user and similarly i'll provide here base okay with the command that is base name 
and the same variable will be passed to it okay user underscore home now once it is done let me write here echo dir is dollar dir and also i'll write here base is let's see that whether it is working fine or not okay let me clear this one and i'll execute our script that is user underscore back so it is giving the right value of dir but not for the base okay and the reason here is that in this particular location i had given the space that is causing the error so i'll remove it and let's again execute our script then you will see it is giving us the right values okay so let's go it one by one quickly first of all it is printing backup of user one right backup of particular user and then user one exists in the system the path for the home directory it has found it is slash home slash user one and then the dir is slash home and the base is user one right same is happening for the user two and user three doesn't exist in the system now after that i also need to define another location at which our backup files need to be created okay so for that i'll write here two underscore path and i'll give the path here as slash home wiki after that i'll write here documents okay this will be our directory path in which our backup files will be created right after that i'm simply going to use the tar command right so i'll write here tar then capital c after that i'll define here dir okay and then i am going to give the option here is as capital p c z f and after that two path variable so i'll write here two underscore path right so this path as you see i had defined here okay and i'll give the name of our backup files to be as user okay dot tar dot gz right so dollar user will be user one dot tar dot gz then in the next iteration it will be user two dot tar dot gz like that okay and then as the name of the final path for the directory or file i am going to simply give here base okay so let's save it and execute our shell script and see what will be the output okay i needed the pseudo privileges for it so let's press enter and now if i do here ls then you will see user 1 dot tar created user 2 user 4 user 5 and user 6 okay since the user number 3 does not exist in the system so for that no backup files has been created right so our final shell script has been created to take the backup of users file okay of multiple users now in future if you want to find the backup of another user then you can simply add a value in this particular array okay for instance you can write here user 7 now it will take the backup of the user 7 also so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see in the next video